published, 1048 EDT, the 7th of April 2018, updated, 2111 EDT, the 7th of April 2018 German police have reportedly found a Kalashnikov at the home of the man who plowed a minibus into a crowd of people and shot himself dead, killing two people and injuring 20 others in Moernster. Dozens were left injured, six critically, after the vehicle was driven at high speed towards families outside the popular Grosserkiepenkel bar in the university city. 300 miles west of Berlin, terrified diners watched as the driver, named locally as Jens R. 48, shot himself inside the vehicle after the attack at 3.27 p.m. local time. The perpetrator is believed to be a German national with psychological problems and no links to any terrorist organizations. Local reports claim he had been in contact with far-right groups, but was not an extremist himself. Officers searching his grave Volkswagen van suspected it was booby-trapped after reportedly finding a pistol connected to a wire hidden underneath the inside carpeting. Police are also investigating reports that two other people escaped from inside the van after the crash. Dramatic pictures showed the area of Munster's old town strewn with broken tables and chairs, while onlookers ran for their lives. Scroll down for video German police have reportedly found a Kalashnikov at the home of the man who plowed a minibus pictured into a crowd of people and shot himself dead, killing two people and injuring 20 others in months nighttime images show the dark grey Volkswagen van that plowed into crowds of people in Moernster, killing two and injuring dozens. Officers searching the perpetrator's van pictured suspected it was booby-trapped after reportedly finding a pistol connected to a wire leading underneath the van's floor carpeting police have reportedly found a Kalashnikov at the home of the man who plowed a minibus into a crowd of people and shot himself dead, forensic investigators pictured at scene, killing two people and injuring twenty others in more Ernst forensic investigators are pictured scouring the scene of today's deadly vehicle attack in the university town of more Ernst German forensic experts, pictured, are, scouring the scene where a man plowed a minibus into a crowd of people and shot himself dead, killing two people and injuring twenty others in more Ernst Germany officers in protective clothing are pictured at the scene where a man plowed into crowds with a van in Moernster. Germany armed officers are pictured patrolling the police cordon in Munster's old town where two people were killed and 20 injured terrified diners watched as the driver shot and killed himself inside the vehicle at 3.27 p.m. local time. Officers are still guarding the scene emergency vehicles are pictured after nightfall in Moernster with the scene of the attack still cordoned off police and fire teams worked into the night after the deadly vehicle attack at 3.27 p.m. on Saturday in Moernster a fire engine is seen near the Grosserkiepenkel bar in Munster's old town where a van killed two people and injured 20 broadcasters EDF said the driver had contact with far-right extremists but there was no evidence thus far that he was a far-right extremist himself, pictured, investigators work into the night to uncover more about the deadly attack candles are pictured at the scene of the van attack that killed two and injured twenty in the old town of Moernster on Saturday tributes and candles were laid at the scene of Saturday's van attack where two people were killed and twenty injured German authorities have for now ruled out a connection to Islamist terrorism after a man rammed customers on a restaurant terrace killing two people, but much remains unclear about the incident, here is what we know so far. What happened? A small van spanned into a crowd of customers and staff at outdoor tables belonging to a restaurant in the historic center of Moernster in northwest Germany at 3.27 p.m. on Saturday, killing two. German media reported that those killed were waiters at the Grosserkiepenkel restaurant not far from the city's cathedral. Some 20 people were wounded, around 10 of them seriously, Interior Minister of North Rhine-Westphalia State Herbert Rell said. The driver stopped the van immediately after the impact, shooting himself inside the vehicle according to police, who was the driver. The driver was a German, and not, as has been claimed everywhere, a refugee or something like that, Rell said. 
matching reports from several German media outlets said the attacker was a man aged around 48 with psychological problems. Television news reported that he had recently attempted suicide and made known that he planned a more spectacular attempt. Several reports pointed to a past of petty crime and drug dealing. The man was employed as an industrial product designer and struggled with problems at work. Broadcaster ZDF said he had known connections with far-right organizations, while new website Spiegel Online reported an assault rifle was found at his monster apartment close to the scene of the crime. Investigators found a suspicious object in the van, which Die Welt newspaper reported was a pistol connected to a wire leading underneath the van's floor carpeting. Suspecting a booby trap, the police called in bomb disposal experts. What motivated the attacker? There is so far no clear indication of the attacker's motive. But authorities said they had ruled out an Islamist background to the act. Germany has been on a specially high alert for such terrorist attacks since a Tunisian asylum seeker rammed a truck into crowds at a Berlin Christmas market in December 2016. There is no indication at the moment that there is any Islamist connection, State Interior Minister L said. Police will attempt to determine whether the driver wanted to commit a murder-suicide, taking other people with him in the process of killing himself. Did the perpetrator act alone? Police initially said witnesses had spotted potential accomplices exiting the van immediately after the attack. But there is so far no evidence to back up this theory. Police locked down a wide area around the scene of the attack immediately afterwards, but gradually opened some roads up to traffic again as evening drew in. Source, AFP Saturday's attack came on the anniversary of the Stockholm attack, when five people were killed and 14 injured after a stolen beer truck drove into a crowd in the Swedish capital last year. It also served as a painful reminder of a similar vehicle assault on a Christmas market in Berlin on December 19, 2016, which left 12 dead and 56 injured. The perpetrator behind the Moornster incident is believed to have attempted suicide in the past and struggled with mental health issues and problems at work. Police worked through the night scouring his apartment, located 1.2 miles away from the scene of the carnage in the Kiepenkel Square. German media reported they found an AK-47 assault rifle at Jens's flat, where neighbors were told to stay inside while specialist police investigated. The van crashed into people sitting in front of Munster's famous grocer Kiepenkel Bar, which is popular with tourists, in the spring sunshine this afternoon. Police and fire rescue teams quickly descended on the old town area, as SWAT teams prepared to raid the 48-year-old driver's home. State Interior Minister Herbert Ruel spoke in the city in the hours after the attack, confirming two people died revising the earlier police figure of three. He said German police believe the driver was a German citizen and hit out at misinformation being spread online, claiming a refugee was responsible. He stressed that the investigation was at an early stage but said at the moment, nothing speaks for there being any Islamist background. We have to wait, and we are investigating in all directions, Mr. L said, adding he, willfully drove into a crowd of people. Broadcaster ZDF said he had contact with far-right extremists, but there was no evidence thus far that he was a far-right extremist himself. Elsewhere German Chancellor Angela Merkel said she was deeply shaken by today's event. Everything possible is now being done to clarify the facts and to support the victims and their relatives, she said. A man shot himself dead after plowing a minibus, pictured, into a crowd of people in the German city of Moernster, killing two people and leaving 20 injured on Saturday afternoon. A van, pictured bottom right, plowed into crowds of people in Moernster, West Germany killing two people and injuring dozens more today. German police are pictured in the city of Moernster this afternoon. After a van drove into a crowd of people killing two and injuring dozens more armed police were seen wearing balaclavas in the immediate aftermath of the attack in Moernster, West Germany today the perpetrator behind today's attack. Police pictured surveying the scene, 
is believed to be a middle-aged German man with psychological problems and no links to any terrorist organizations members of German special forces are pictured outside the apartment of the driver, 48, who killed two people in more Ernst officers, pictured, are currently searching the driver's apartment for explosives and also investigating reports that two other people were seen fleeing the van after the crash armed officers swooped the scene outside Munster's famous Keep and Kill Bar and statue today after the deadly attack in the immediate aftermath of the attack one eyewitness told the local MD TV channel, I heard a loud, dull blow and simultaneously people cried out, oh my god. A minute later, patrol cars were already there. A student named Lena, 21, told Build newspaper, I was by crying with friends when suddenly crying, screaming people came running towards us. Get away. They shouted. Someone has driven into people. There is a terror attack. We got out of there and didn't see much but feared another bomb would blow up or that we would be shot at. Meanwhile Munster's University Hospital called on citizens to donate blood to help them treat their injured. There were more police than usual in the city on Saturday to monitor a protest by Kurdish demonstrators that took place near the scene of the incident. After the carnage unfolded, police officers also said they were investigating witness reports that two other perpetrators may have fled from the van. A video emerged on social media from an unidentified area of the city showing armed police shouting at a man to get down in English. SWAT teams are pictured preparing to raid the dead driver's apartment in the city of Moornster after he drove into crowds police, pictured, are currently searching the driver's apartment for explosives and also investigating reports that two other people were seen fleeing the van after the crash the suspect is seen putting his hands in the air and dropping to the ground before officers with guns surround him. His identity and link to the incident is not yet known. The Kurdish protest took place near the city's main train station, only a short distance away from the Keepenkel Square, just before the attack. Matt Scoville, 23, who lives in Moornster, told Mail Online locals were speculating about two suspects on the run. He said, I saw the 30 or 40 police officers and their vans around 3.15 p.m. and wondered what was going on. But after I'd gone inside I started to get messages from friends saying don't go out. There's been a car bomb and two people are on the run. I was terrified. Restaurant chairs and tables are seen strewn across the area outside Munster's famous Keep and Call statue and pub. Several police vans could be seen in the center of the picturesque medieval city of 300,000 people as the carnage unfolded. Police cordons are in place as a wide scale investigation descends on the city. Officers say they are not looking for any more suspects and the danger appears to be over Munster's Lord Mayor Marcus Lever said his sympathies were with victims and their families. He said, The whole of Moornster mourns this terrible event, our sympathy goes out to the relatives of those who were killed, and we wish the injured people fast and speedy recovery. A spokeswoman for German Chancellor Angela Merkel says our thoughts are with the victims and their families who were killed and injured when a vehicle crashed into a crowd in the western German city of Moornster. Spokesman Ulrike Demmer on Twitter called the crash Saturday terrible news. I am shocked by the news from Moornster, said Andrea Niles, parliamentary leader of the Social Democrats, junior partner in Chancellor Angela Merkel's ruling coalition. French President Emmanuel Macron tweeted, All my thoughts are with the victims of the attack in Monster. France shares in Germany's suffering. Eric Rettingos, chairman of the German police trade union in North Rhine-Westphalia, said, There was always a latent high risk of attack throughout Germany. Now it has also hit our state. We were fortunately always able to prevent planned assassinations and attacks in advance, but it has not succeeded this time. It is now necessary to clarify and, above all, to arrest accomplices to this crime and to prevent further possible outrages. Six people are in critical condition and dozens more are injured after the vehicle was driven at high speed towards families outside a traditional German restaurant in the university town, 
300 miles west of Berlin emergency vehicles were scrambled to the scene after reports of the attack spread through the city in western Germany it is not yet known if the incident is terror related but it comes after a wave of deadly vehicle attacks across western Europe rescuers are pictured waiting for more information on the deadly incident in Munster's old town this afternoon firefighters pictured walking in downtown Munster Germany today after several people were killed by a van police pictured are investigating reports that two other people were seen fleeing the van after the crash fire engines are pictured ready to back up police after a van crashed into crowds outside restaurants in Munster it is not yet known if the incident is terror related but it comes after a wave of deadly vehicle attacks across western Europe Munster is approximately 300 miles west of Berlin in the North Rhine-Westphalia region of Germany German police have not yet revealed a motive for the attack in Munster but it comes after a wave of deadly vehicle attacks in western Europe here mail online looks back at similar incidents across the continent over the last 4 years april 7 2018 a man drives a van into a group of people sitting outside a restaurant in the old city center of Munster in germany killing several of them before taking his own life police say a year to the day after the Stockholm truck attack, March 23, 2018, a gunman kills three people in southwestern France after holding up a car, firing on police and taking hostages in a supermarket, screaming Allahu Akbar, security forces storm the building and kill him, August 17, 2017, a van plows into crowds in the heart of Barcelona, killing at least 13 people. A regional official says, in what police said they were treating as a terrorist attack. June 3, 2017, three attackers ram a van into pedestrians on London Bridge then stab revelers in nearby bars, killing eight people and injuring at least 48. Islamic State says its militants are responsible. May 22, 2017, a suicide bomber kills 22 children and adults and wounds 59 at a packed concert hall in the English city of Manchester, as crowds began leaving a concert by U.S. singer Ariana Grande. April 7, 2017, a truck drives into a crowd on a shopping street and crashes into a department store in central Stockholm, killing five people and wounding 15 in what police call a terrorist attack. March 22, 2017, an attacker stabs a policeman close to the British Parliament in London after a car ploughs into pedestrians on nearby Westminster Bridge. Six people die, including the assailant and the policeman he stabbed, and at least 20 are injured in what police call a marauding terrorist attack. Apostrophe. December 19, 2016, a truck ploughs into a crowded Christmas market in central Berlin killing 12 people and injuring 48. German Chancellor Angela Merkel says authorities are assuming it was a terrorist attack. July 26, 2016, two attackers kill a priest with a blade and seriously wound another hostage in a church in northern France before being shot dead by French police. French President François Hollande says the two hostage takers had pledged allegiance to Islamic State. July 24, 2016, a Syrian man wounds 15 people when he blows himself up outside a music festival in Anspark in southern Germany. Islamic State claims responsibility. July 22, 2016, an 18-year-old German-Iranian gunman apparently acting alone kills at least nine people in Munich. The teenager had no Islamist ties but was obsessed with mass killings. The attack was carried out on the fifth anniversary of twin attacks by Norwegian mass murderer Anders Breivik that killed 77 people. July 18, 2016, a 17-year-old Afghan refugee wielding an axe and a knife attacks passengers on a train in southern Germany, severely wounding four, before being shot dead by police. Islamic State claims responsibility. July 14, 2016, a gunman drives a heavy truck into a crowd celebrating Bastille Day in the French city of Nice, killing 86 people and injuring scores more in an attack claimed by Islamic State. 
The attacker is identified as a Tunisian-born Frenchman. June 14, 2016, a Frenchman of Moroccan origin stabs a police commander to death outside his home in a Paris suburb and kills his partner, who also worked for the police. The attacker told police negotiators during a siege that he was answering an appeal by Islamic State. March 22, 2016, three Islamic State suicide bombers, all Belgian nationals, blow themselves up at Brussels airport and in a metro train in the Belgian capital, killing 32 people. Police find links with attacks in Paris the previous November. November 13, 2015. Paris is rocked by multiple, near-simultaneous gun and bomb attacks on entertainment sites around the city, in which 130 people die and 368 are wounded. Islamic State claims responsibility. Two of the ten known perpetrators were Belgian citizens and three others were French. Dan 7-9, 2015 Two Islamist militants break into an editorial meeting of satirical weekly Charlie Hebdo on January 7 and rake it with bullets, killing 17. Another militant kills a policewoman the next day and takes hostages at a supermarket on January 9, killing four before police shoot him dead. May 24, 2014. Four people are killed in a shooting at the Jewish Museum in central Brussels. The attacker was French national Mary Nemouche, 29, who was subsequently arrested in Marseille, France, extradited. He is awaiting trial in Belgium. In the immediate aftermath, police confirmed they had been casualties but did not immediately say what happened. There are deaths and injured. Please avoid the area, we are on scene, the regional police service wrote on Twitter. Interior Minister Herbert Rell is pictured making a statement on today's attack in the Old Town area of Moor It is understood a vehicle ploughed into a crowded pub near the Keepenkel statue in the Old Town Moor is a city of around 300,000 in North Rhine-Westphalia, to the west of Germany near the border with the Netherlands. Around a fifth of the population are students, and there are four universities within the city. It is also known as the bicycle capital of Germany. The city is famous for its Freedom Saal, Peace Hall, in the City Hall, where some treaties within the Peace of Westphalia were signed back in October 1648. These treaties ended both the Thirty Years' War, the war between the Habsburgs and their Catholic allies and various Protestant powers including Sweden, and the Eighty Years' War between Spain and the Dutch Republic. Police vans flooded downtown Moernster as they rushed to deal with the situation and emergency services warned people to stay away from the area. Ambulances also rushed to the scene following reports that at least 30 people were injured in the incident. Moernster is in the North Rhine-Westphalia region of Germany, 300 miles west of Berlin.